Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So we are not going to read a chapter this morning. Um, I want you to think about the things that we've already read, and we're going to think about character motivations. Um, so we want to think about our characters as real people, which is sort of what we did last week with inferencing. And in reading some of your inferences, I've noticed that a lot of you are sort of missing that step. You're missing the step when you are taking the information from the book and then comparing it to a real life person or someone in real life and how those people act. So we want to make sure that we are not missing that step because that's where you get your inference from. You're making, you're using your background knowledge. So we want to think about characters' motivations and how they're motivated um, to do the things that they do. So like think about when you know, while you're home right now and you may be snapping at a sibling, you have a reason for that. Whether it's right or wrong, whether it's a good reason, you do have a reason. So we want to use those motivations and think about the things that our characters are doing. So think about the way that Kyle responds to Connor's success. And we want to think about his motivation for those responses. So we know from our previous chapter that he feels like he was like left behind you know he talks about how he felt like he was left frozen where Connor got to be born first and you know we can sort of understand that that wasn't a, a choice that his parents made because they didn't know how Connor was going to to grow up and what he was going to be like but in Kyle's mind he feels like he was left out so we can think about his motivations for why he seems to have such an attitude about his brother and his brother's success because he, of his feelings of jealousy or resentment towards his brother. So we have to really think about why do characters do the things that they do? If they were a real life person, we could understand why they do the things that they do because we'd have background knowledge about them. So we want to think about them as a real person how does the things that happen to them motivate them motivate their responses to conflicts in the story motivate them to act or say the things that they do so we really want to focus on kyle's motivations and how he's motivated because we know a lot more about him right now and his inner thinking than we do about connor so when we meet on Wednesday, we're going to be reading the next chapter, and I want you to be focused on what's motivating Kyle and what be able to give some information about here's what he does, but now we want to think about the why. Why does he do those things? Uh, please don't forget to be uh, looking at Common Lit, looking at um, iReady, and a couple of you have yet to complete the assignment from this week, so please make sure you're getting that done before it needs to be handed in tonight. All right, see you guys on Wednesday.